to show you today how to make a delicious Ezekiel bread. If you've ever heard of Ezekiel bread, it's actually a recipe that's found in the Bible. It incorporates all kinds of grains and beans to make like a high protein flour bread. Now, did you know that if you went and purchased Ezekiel bread at the grocery store, you'd be paying up to $6 a loaf just for one loaf? And it's frozen, it's not even fresh. Well, what if I told you that you could make four delicious loaves of Ezekiel bread for just pennies using your own Ezekiel mix? In a video that I've posted previously on my website, simplylivingsmart.com, you can see how to put together your own Ezekiel mix, or you can purchase it on my website in my online store. The unique thing about this is it even has the recipe on the back, so you know exactly how to make this delicious Ezekiel bread at home. The greatest thing about making Ezekiel bread is that I can use this electric Wonder Mill grinder to grind all of my grains and all of my beans. When you realize how many beans and grains are in this mix, we have millet, rye, pinto beans, soybeans, barley, lentils, and wheat. It's amazing to think that you can grind them all in this electric grinder to make a high protein flour. Let's get started. First, we'll start with fresh wheat kernels. And then, we use a little bit of vitamin C. This vitamin C caplet is wonderful because it really gives your bread the loft that you love in your bread. It's just like using a dough enhancer, but it's natural and it's inexpensive. This will go right into our grinder and grind all up together. Then, of course, we're gonna use one cup of this unique Ezekiel mix. Then we come down here and we have some butter, some fresh honey or agave, a little gluten flour, some yeast, and a touch of salt. That's it. Now we're gonna begin by grinding all of our grains into our electric grinder to make our wonderful flour. I like to just put my setting halfway between coarse and fine. That gives me a great fine flour. Now I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna put in my wheat and my vitamin C, and then I'll add a cup of my Ezekiel mix. Here we go. So let's take a look at this wonderful Ezekiel flour. Look at that. This is just beautiful. And it's nice and fresh and nice and fine. Now we're ready to make our Ezekiel bread. Now comes the fun part of baking our Ezekiel bread. And I'm gonna start with five cups of hot water in my Bosch mixer. Now don't worry about how hot your water is because we're not gonna add the yeast quite yet. You want to make sure it's nice and warm so that all, everything will dissolve well. The butter, the honey, everything. So here we go. I'm going to start with a little bit of butter. And this has been softened just a little. And then a natural sweetener. You can use honey or zagave. For more information on zagave, the natural sweetener, be sure to visit my website at simplylivingsmart.com where I have videos that show you how to incorporate that into everyday baking. Then we have a little bit of salt. I like to use the sea salt. It's just so much better for you. Okay, and then we're gonna begin by adding our Ezekiel flour blend. I begin by adding three cups. Now the trick to making really chewy, wonderful Ezekiel bread is that you need to let it knead for about 12 minutes so that all of the moisture can be absorbed into the flour. Here we go, let's just give it a little stir. There, now it's time to add our other ingredients. I'm going to add a half a cup of vital wheat gluten. Now, vital wheat gluten is really important when you're making whole wheat breads or bean breads. It's a high protein flour that helps give that texture and that elasticity that you love in your bread. So just a half a cup is enough to make four loaves. In we put that, and then we'll add our yeast. I like to use Saf Instant Yeast. In that goes, and then we'll continue to add more flour. Now I'm gonna turn on my mixing machine, this Bosch here that I love, 
And then I'm going to continue to add more flour until I can see that the dough is beginning to clean the sides of the bowl. Be careful not to add too much flour. You'll want to make sure to read your recipe carefully because the more flour you use, the drier your bread will become and that's something we really want to avoid. So I'm going to turn my mixer back on and watch what happens.